This is Bill Quinn from Overheard Productions and also Bill the House Sitter. Both of those are .com. I usually, well not usually, I sometimes when I'm on my game don't cry, try to cross the streams. But just for now, I will. Uh, this is a quick one, but now up here we've got, I call him Neville. This is Neville. And uh, he's a bit of a sniffer, he's a bit of a licker, he's a bit of a concerned. You can usually tell if a dog's licking itself a lot especially if it's fixating on the one place, either there is a physiological problem. Sometimes it's just boredom or anxiety. The most savage case of this I saw was back when I was married and um, Trish and I found this uh, galah. Yeah, it was a, uh, wasn't it galah? Yeah, the, the pink and gray ones, whatever they are. Found one of those. Uh, no, big pardon, it was a soft crested cockatoo. One of the two, doesn't matter, Bill, get on with it. And uh, we found it just wandering out in the street and it had pulled about a good two thirds of its feathers out. And when we did finally catch it, and uh, my God, it took some skin out of me. Jeez, it got onto my back, I was bare chested and it got onto my back and just took a great big hold with that powerful beak. Anyway, so what was I gonna say about that? Um, yeah, so this one, He's a bit, a bit anxious, he's a bit, um, he's a failed guide dog. And uh, he's gone a little bit the other way around now. He's so needy, so ridiculously needy. He looks pretty chilled now. I actually ducked out before and was able to leave him in the house unattended for about 20 minutes. And he didn't freak out. Whereas two days ago, Saturday afternoon, I checked with the neighbours, just ducked down to the pub for two hours to watch the football match. And then thank you, New South Wales Police, I got detained, well, I got myself detained, not 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 restrained. I uh, went in to just have a chat to them about a few things that have been going on the last few weeks. And yes, mistake. So I got back here three hours and I came up from this angle, up there. And as I came up, I could hear him crying already. So. This is just to let you know that part of the thing that I do with animals is as much as walking is great, and we'll go for a walk a little bit later up the shops, go to the chemist, I still haven't been able to find my prescription for my next lot of blood pressure pills, which is a bit of a worry, but I suspect I'm actually doing okay at the moment, and that's because I'm blocking a lot of the world out, and I'm also taking some action to fix up some things that have been uh, situations I've got myself into. So anyway, he's a bit placid at the moment, but watch this, this is more about exercising his brain and this just came rolling down the street there we go so he's not really sure what this is it's a bit outside of his experience it's a bit when I like when I took good old sergeant Schultz to the beach god damn it um, yeah and jumped he jumped in the waves he just wasn't really sure what the hell was going on oh hello we might get a big bang soon. Oh, we're gonna get a ball. Excellent. Oh, I'm so gonna find one of these. Come on, that's it, that's it. Don't bite it for God's sake. I'm not looking at the camera at the moment, so I don't know where. He was actually headbutting it back. So he doesn't seem too distressed at the moment. Oh, that's a bit concerning for him. The other thing that I'm doing is, he doesn't do stairs. Well, that's the received wisdom. That's actually a bunch of um, horse hockey. He does stairs, absolutely. He just needs a good motivation, that's all. And I've been trying with this one. The only problem is, stairs are it's a fair old camber. So he's just, he's a little bit concerned. He tries to go down. He can go down one step for sure to get a bit of food, but he won't try more than a couple. And he certainly hasn't gotten down to three to get, get that bits of food. Come here, Harry Berry. Come on. That's it. So we'll work on this. <laughs> oh no, every now and again, he has enough and he um, he does wander off, which is rare because he usually likes being around people. But this actually works well. There's a nice little draft here. Might be a different story inside. Oh, now we're in trouble. What's gonna do? What you gonna do, buddy? You gonna pop it? But see, all of this is, even if it's a bit concerning for him, What's happening here is his brain's working. So he's not just sitting there basically fixating on things. His mind is being taken up. So if I kept doing this for say about an hour, he would sleep probably for about four. 
because his brain's just and it's not none of this is rocket science yes i did a whole bunch of stuff about behavior behavior that word ism um skinner did a whole bunch of work um who was the other one skinner is the ghost and machine guy and then there's another character that's really big on on behavior behavioralism there you go lovely i just realized i've got a got a reflection back there hello but you can't see me you can't see me okay i think that might be enough for now so that's just a little bit of uh neville i call him and we'll we'll do some more of that and that's better than a not that i take him on a five kilometer walk I have instructions, instructions must be hors d'oeuvres, hors d'oeuvres must be obeyed and served. Uh, 20 minutes between 4 and 4.30, 20 minutes, uh, like a 20 minute period between 4 and 4.30 and then 9 o'clock and then there's another 20 minutes. I don't know if I've got an end time for that one. So, um, well, just at 9 o'clock. Military precision. Right, well, from beautiful downtown Paddington in the electorate of Malcolm Turnbull, our prime sinister for the moment. It's Bill Quinn from Overheard Productions, Bill the House Sitter, and 36 Steps to Progress saying, go and play with an animal. Turn the mobile device off. Put that game away. Put that controller back away in the mothballs. And happy Monday.